Hey guys, so today I have another haul for you. It's kind of a random one. It's skincare and jewellery. Um, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. Um, I did just film like a clothing kind of fashion haul. I'm not sure if it's up before this one or not, but um, I thought I would split the jewellery into a separate haul because I have a lot of it. And I've been buying a couple skincare things lately as well, so I thought I would just throw that in because I haven't been buying any makeup recently, so... Yeah, I thought I would just combine the two together. So I'm going to start off with La Visa because that was my most recent purchase. Um, I bought these like two days ago so they should still be in stock. Um, it is like middle of the year sales at the moment so pretty much everything I bought was on sale. Um, so I started off with La Visa and I just got a couple of pairs of earrings. So the first one I have are uh, these ones here. Um, I'm obsessed with this like mint green colour in earrings at the moment. So anytime I see them, I buy them, which really, I probably won't wear the pink ones, I'll probably only wear the green ones. But I thought these were really, really nice, I just really like the colour of the green earrings. So they've just got the green gem in the middle and then like mini stones around the outside, same as the pink. And I also saw these ones, they're just really simple triangle studs. They were $3, originally $7, which is a pretty good deal and I'm going to put these on right now. I don't have any earrings in at the moment. So next I'm going to go on to Colette because I also only have two things from there. Um, so I just bought these like peach studs. So they're just peach and they've got like little diamantes around the outside. Really, really cute. Really like kind of pastel colours um, when it comes to jewellery. And Colette had 50% off all of their jewellery in store. And then on a different day I also picked up this necklace here. And I have to say that this is my new favourite necklace. Um, I have been wearing it constantly. I am just obsessed with it. I love it so much. Uh, a girl came into work recently that was wearing this necklace and I was like, where did you get that from? And I found it at Colette and there was one left and it was 50% off and it was meant to be. It was just waiting there for me. So pretty much it's on like a kind of metallic black chain. And um, it's just got rainbow gems, kind of like all the colours of the rainbow. And then in between it's got like diamante kind of gems. And I just love all of the colours. Um, I really like pairing this with like plain white or plain black. It just really like gives a pop of colour to the outfit. And I've just been loving wearing this. I've got so many compliments on it as well. And the last place that I have stuff from is Diva. Now, um, I was actually working at Diva for about a month helping with closing down this store because the same company that owns Diva owns bras and things where I work and they needed extra stuff and blah 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 but anyway um, they are shutting down the whole chain which is kind of why I have so much because I've been working there and everything was really cheap so if you have a Diva near you check it out because everything is really really cheap so the first thing I bought was this three pack of studs I'm, I don't remember the prices of everything everything was really cheap this is probably only like three bucks um, I only bought this for the purple pair, <laughs> pretty much, because it was so cheap, um, I didn't really mind spending the money on it, but yeah, the green pair's alright, I kind of like a bit of a lighter green in my jewellery, and I know I'm never going to wear the black pair because I have such dark hair, but I really really liked the purple pair, so yeah, I decided to pick those up. Another pair of studs I also picked up was this pair here, as you can tell, I really like the green colour. Um, pretty much they've just got like the kind of pastel green gem and then around the outside they've got kind of like, um, what would you call that? Like metallic kind of black gems around the outside. They're not diamantes, they're definitely like metallic kind of grey colour. Another set of earrings I bought was these ones here. Um, I pretty much only wear studs these days, I don't really wear any like dangly earrings which is why I've pretty much bought all stars there is a pair missing there that same like green colour I wore them I'm not sure where they are I think they might be in my handbag this just came with a pack of five stars got like a cobalt blue colour a really nice kind of light blue a purple a pastel pink and then it came with a pastel green as well I also picked up this necklace here um, it's just a really nice kind of coral colour I'm thinking of kind of detaching the bottom of this so it's just kind of that part because I like statement necklaces but this is kind of big like it's a really big necklace um, but yeah I really like this I'm pretty sure this is only like five bucks or something along those lines I'm not sure but I really like wearing this with just like plain black um, 
dress kind of spices up the outfit a little bit and this is also like my other favorite color in jewelry we were packing up on the very last day packing up the whole store we these things I found when we were taking out the rubbish which is kind of just leftovers like the faulty bins and stuff like that instead of throwing them out we just went through everything and just kept whatever we wanted so I have this pack here of midi rings um, the reason it was in the faulties obviously is because one was missing um, but they're just midi rings and they've got little like gems on them so there's a green one a blue one and a kind of like really dark blue one and the other thing I have is this necklace here um, not sure why this was in the faulties bin it was in the trash that was all gonna go out so I decided I like that and I'm gonna take it pretty much just a gold chain and then it's got like mixed metal um, triangle like geographic triangles coming off it not my normal thing this is a bit out of my comfort zone but yeah I'm pretty sure I would probably only wear this like if I was going clubbing or something like that um, but yeah, I do really like this. And that is all the jewellery that I have picked up. So I'm just going to move on to skincare. The first thing I picked up was this Yes to Grapefruit Facial Scrub. If you watch my Bella Box unboxing video, I did get a sample of this. I tried it once. I thought it was amazing. So I picked up a full size from Priceline. My skin has been acting up a lot lately, which is why I have so much skincare stuff. I normally don't buy that much skincare stuff. This work has been so crazy recently, I think in the last month I only had like 5 days off or something and I have to wear makeup to work. My skin has been freaking out because I normally only wear makeup 3 or 4 days a week. So to wear it pretty much every single day for like a month my skin has just been hating me. I don't get pimples, um, they're not exactly like pimples, it's more like just little bumps on my skin I guess from like clogged pores or something like that. But yeah, I've been really trying to take care, better care of my skin because it's just driving me insane. And I have normal skin and I've never really had a problem with like breakouts or anything. So the fact that I have like so many little like bumps and kind of pimples, they're not really pimples, so it's more like under the skin um, kind of bumps. It's just, yeah, it's been really annoying me. And I did buy the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, which I find works really, really well on like pimples that are like raised pimples. But because mine are all under the skin, it doesn't really work on them. Um, so yeah, I've been exfoliating a lot, which is not something, well not a lot, but yeah, I started exfoliating my skin, which is not something that I used to do. But now I do, and I love this, it smells like grapefruit, and it's really nice. Um, it's pretty much made to correct and repair the skin, so make it like brighter and get rid of like discoloration, all that kind of stuff. Next thing I picked up was this Simple Moisturiser, I really like the Simple brand. Um, I've been using a face cleanser from them for ages and I really like the simple makeup remover wipes so I thought I would try out their moisturiser because the moisturiser I use is kind of like a vitamin E cream that like you can use anywhere. I've never actually tried a like specific face moisturiser so I thought I would try this out. It's pretty good, um, I just really don't like the smell. The other thing I have is, um, this just came in yesterday, I made an order of eye herb a couple of things and I decided to pick up this Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I've heard a lot about this on YouTube and stuff um, and it pretty much says it helps dry up um, pimples, rinse away blackheads and shrink in large pores. So yeah, I thought I would try it out. Everyone seems to like it on YouTube. It literally smells like mint gum. Like, you know, that like mint scent but it's like sweet at the same time that's exactly what this smells like I used it yesterday um, I liked it my skin was really soft afterwards and I did notice that my pores were a little bit smaller not sure if I like it as much as my Lush Mask of Magnum Minty face mask which I'm all out of at the moment and I don't have a Lush near me and online is sold out so I'm waiting for them to get it back in stock but in the meantime I will be using this one and the last thing I have I picked up off Beauty Bay I've been hearing a lot about First Aid Beauty here on YouTube so I thought I would pick up this kit here um, it is the Fab Face to Go kit so pretty much it has their face cleanser, the radiance pads and then their ultra repair cream because singly I think they were all like $30 each and I didn't really want to spend $30 per product um, on something that I've never tried before and yeah I've heard good reviews but I don't know if it's going to work for my skin so I thought I'd pick up this kit this kit was 30 about 30 Australian dollars so this is the face cleanser and this is almost 60 mils I mean 60 grams sorry um, it's two fluid ounces so 
The sizes of these are actually really, really nice. I think they're going to last me um, a while. And then it comes with 28. Ooh. Comes with 28 of the Radiance pads, which is a pretty decent size. So yeah, these will probably last me a while. I did use these um, when I got them in on that day. I used the cleanser, then I used the wipes, then I used the moisturizer. I have to tell you, oh my goodness. I was literally, I was sleeping after, because I, I did it before I went to bed, then I went to sleep. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I rolled over, went to put my hands under my face, literally half asleep, put my hand on my face, I was like, oh, my skin feels really soft. Like, that was the first thing I noticed, how soft my skin felt. And even the next morning, my skin felt amazing. I've been really, really impressed by these, even though I've only used them once. So far, um, definitely really, really looking forward to using these more. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to love them, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go and get the full sizes. So that is everything that I have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me do any videos, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing suggestions, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!